The next 30 years will be cold, says climate scientist Dr. Willie Soon. Alex Newman of The New American recently interviewed Dr. Willie Soon after his most recent Camp Constitution talk and after a flurry of papers released by the doctor. And tonight, we want to recap some of the more important moments of the interview. Dr. Willie Soon has produced a new paper that attempts to work out the behavior of the sun over the next 100 years. He's done this by first studying how the sun has behaved over the last 400 years, and then by extrapolating this cyclic behavior out over a century or so into the future. We already have a very weak activity state, said Dr. Soon. Weaker than the active state of the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. This reduced spell of activity we're in now started in 2008 and is expected to last until 2050, continued Dr. Soon. The next three decades will be a very interesting time to be living because we have another 30 years of the possibility of cooling. Soon hopes the IPCC will be honest and won't be tempted to manipulate their data, as Soon has personally caught and demonstrated them doing in the past. The IPCC charts show only linear warming, explained Soon, whereas the raw thermometer data reveals a clear ebb and flow of cooling and warming in a cyclic fashion. This shows you that they manipulated the data says Dr. Soon. Now, ultimately, it's about the truth. It's not about whether Dr. Soon's predictions come true or not. We have to keep a close eye on the thermometer data used by the IPCC, stresses Soon, but also the data from the sun. What we predict is that the next 20 to 30 years will be cold, says Dr. Willie Soon. It will be a very interesting thing for the IPCC to confront. Dr. Soon is a firm believer that the demonization or the demonization of CO2 is all hype, a scare tactic. He says sunlight is the key factor when it comes to Earth's climate. And that's why he studies it intensely. This infrared radiation, greenhouse gas, CO2 infrared, is purely a reaction of the system to achieve energy balance. And many of you listening know that CO2 follows temperature. When there is an imbalance within the system, the system tries to look for some equilibrium. And this infrared reaction of CO2 is just a reaction to rising temperature. This is why we say the entire climate system is powered 99 plus percent by the sun's energy. And and this is the study conclusions you're looking at as early as 2015. Rising sea level is another folly, according to Soon. If you really study this carefully, sea level has risen about four inches over the past 100 years, says Soon. And these people are saying it's going to rise 300, 400 inches. That's what they're proposing. That's what they're saying to scare you. Certainly not to prepare you for the reality. Dr. Soon admits he struggles with the purpose of all these lies, as well as we do at the channel. Fear and control is Dr. Soon's humble assumption. They could also be one cog in the Great Reset machine, according to Soon. Now, Dr. Willie Soon concludes the interview with one crucial crucial implication. And that's the fact that, well, we will have a lot more problems if the planet were to cool than if it were to warm, Soon says. 
It's easier to cool ourselves in times of warmth, explains Dr. Soon. Bill Gates' atmospheric chalk dust experiment being one rather dangerous option. But the energy simply isn't there to heat ourselves if we were to get cold, at least not on a global scale. The sun is our source of energy. And if this energy level drops, then it will be nigh on impossible for us humans to replicate it. An ice age, even a little one, such as the Maunder Minimum from 1645 to 1715, produces problems that are much harder to solve than those posed by a warming climate, explains Dr. Soon. Throughout ecological time, life and biodiversity has thrived during times of warmth and has struggled during prolonged bouts of cooling. The human species, one of the most fragile. For us humans, soon sees the only solution to the future as being nuclear energy. We better start building the nuclear plants now, implies soon, before the materials required are covered in ice. In that sense, there is a race. Humanity is always in a race of some kind. But for some inexplicable reason, nuclear isn't an option within climate alarmist circles. This is an illogical stance that again nods to an agenda being at play here and not to an honest force in search to fix a genuine real-world issue. Nuclear has the potential to solve both anthropogenic global warming alarmists' problems as well as stave off many of the issues associated with a potential Little Ice Age. Yet, it is discarded. Somebody farted. The ruse is clearer than ever. Are you picking it up? And finally, in a direct message to the propagandized among us or listening currently, Dr. Soon has this to say. If you want to face a serious problem, worry about an ice age. Never, ever, 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 ever worry about global warming. Well, that's a boom. To knowledge. We'll leave you links to the March 2021 Advances in Space Research. Does machine learning reconstruct missing sunspots and forecast a new solar minimum? Perhaps. And Dr. Soon, we're right there with you. I'll leave you links to the reconstructions and prediction of the total solar irradiance from the medieval warm period to the 21st century to get you up to speed on some of the graphics we use tonight and some of the conclusions that are being made. And I also, on all of your behalf, reached out to Dr. Willie Soon personally and asked him to have a personal one-on-one -on -one with us on the channel to explain why he's working so hard on all these new papers and the message he's trying to get out to the public. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. When there are actual scientists that are going out on a limb to potentially save our ass. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors, our Patreons, the heroes that share this video. And that's a boom to knowledge. Be safe. And we'll see you soon.